Hello everyone, Airmax here. I've been using OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for almost a month now, and there is an issue I encountered right off the bat when I tried to install my favorite content creation application called DaVinci Resolve. And man, like, it has been kind of a trouble. It took me a lot of time to, to find a way to make it work, but now it's just working like a charm. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install it the easy way. Are you ready? Let's get into it. As always, we're going to start with a little bit of context. I've been using DaVinci Resolve on OpenSUSE Tumbleweed for a long, long time. Like I would say like almost one month and I had zero issue with it. The only issue is when you install it for the first time. I'm using right now a virtual machine to show you how the first install is going to go through when you actually try to install DaVinci Resolve on your system. What is happening when you install it for the first time, and it's going to arrive when you update it too, but I'm already up to date, so I can't show that to you. That's why I'm doing it on a virtual machine. You're going to have an error. Actually, you're going to have a lot of error, and I'm going to show you step by step how to go through those errors. So first thing, what you want to do is go on the Blackmagic Design website and download DaVinci Resolve. Here it's 18.6. At the moment I'm recording this video, I downloaded it already. It's just here. We're gonna go inside the folder. I have the zip file here, and when I extracted it, I had a run, a dot run, and a PDF. So if you look at it, it is pretty straightforward. We're gonna open the terminal here, and we're gonna go through what they say we need to do. So we're gonna go to the download folder because obviously this is where we downloaded it. And here is my two file here. They wanna make sure like it's executable, but by the color I can tell it's executable and you can see it here, like I can execute here. So not a problem. And I'm gonna do a sudo dot slash DaVinci Resolve 18.6 uh, Linux run. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna type my password. And if I remember, I'm gonna have my first error here. Okay, so. Error, missing or outdated system package detected. So you have two packages here, the libapr1 and the libapr util. So just to, to make sure everything is okay, I'm gonna search using zipper if I have already like those packaging installed or not. So I'm gonna do it this way, libapr, and we'll see like what come out. So you see, I don't have them installed. So the first thing you need to do is make sure they are installed. So you need the util, and you need the, the normal one here. So we're going to do sudo zipper install, and I'm going to copy past that. So it's going to be libapr1-0, and then libapr-util0. Okay, so this is the two I actually need. So I'm going to install them. You say yes, enter. I'm, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger, guys. Sorry about this. Oh, that's going to be easier for you to read. Here we go. I'm also going to put uh, the command in the description below. Now we installed it. I'm going to rerun the installer. And you can see it's still saying it's not there. So they tell you skip package check equal one to bypass the system package check. So I'm going to do it. So it's going to be skip underscore package check equal one. And then sudo actually no we're gonna do this way sudo skip package check this one uh what is the name of the installer davinci my bad davinci resolve dot run up and normally with this command we should be good to go this will install davinci resolve on this computer do you wish to continue yes there is you have the term and condition i really advise you to read them because everybody reads them i don't and if i remember correctly I had an issue here where I could not go through. You will see. So the installing application icon has been super long on my main machine. I think it's going to be the same here. So just, just be patient. Don't cancel the install. It's going to go through. Don't be worried. The, the next issue is when you launch the application. A few moments later. Here we go. We are getting there, guys. We are getting there. A few minutes later. So now we have it. On paper, it's installed. And you can see it's available now on the desktop. So I'm going to try to launch it. And if I remember correctly, it's not going to work. You see, I click on it and nothing happens. So to debug that, let's say one day you have the same type of issue. What you need to do is just go 
into the folder he has been installed, which is opti, I think it's resolve and bin. So when you have an application which doesn't work like that, what you need to find is the executable related to it. So the executable for this application is in slash opt slash resolve slash bin. And this is a resolve there. If I execute it like that, I'm going to see what's wrong with the actual application. And you can see the error here. Error while loading shared lib libraries, libopencl cannot open share object file in the file directory. So you see, we have a problem with the library. So I'm going to show you how to debug that. It's, it's actually pretty easy. What you need to know is which library is actually missing. So I'm guessing we need this one. So for checking that, you're going to type sudo zipper se for search. And we're going to type lib open cl. And here is going to look at all the library name like that. And it's going to show us which one are part of the of the packages and which one are installed so you see the little s there is telling you if it's installed or not and you can tell like none of them are installed so we're going to install all of them sudo zipper install and i'm going to copy past it old school i'm pretty sure i don't need all of them but just to make sure 62 megabytes no problem yes now it's installed so I'm going to clean everything and we're going to restart it and see if we have more library missing. Here we go. Lib Pongo. So same player play again. Sudo zipper se lib Pongo. So here it looks like we are just missing one of, of them. We're going to install it just to make sure. So yes. And I'm going to start. I'm going to try to restart again, resolve. All right. And then if I show it to you again, we have the issue where I'm stuck. For whatever reason, undefined symbol, gstring, free, and still. So now we have this issue. What I think is like the one I installed is not the one, the version that DaVinci Resolve is actually looking for. So how do we get out of this mess? So we open a good old uh, Firefox. And I do a good old research on Google. And guess what? On the OpenSUSE forum, we have Mimili here. And Mimili, she actually gets the, the fix here. So obviously, I know about it before I make this video because it's already happened to me, but I want to show you the thought process. So we're going to follow our instruction and it's going to work. Or his instruction, I don't know. So here is the thing. I like to work in a clean environment in between comma. So we're going to go into slash temp. So this folder has one particularity. At each reboot, it's going to be all clean. So I'm going to do another folder here. I'm going to call it like lol. We're going to go in lol. And from there, I'm going to do all my manipulation because I know like at the moment I reboot, everything is going to disappear in this one. So I don't have to clean it because I'm lazy. Okay. Download the libgdk from Fedora. RPM. Copy it. Here I'm going to do a wget. Normally I should have it. So I'm going to clear it here. I'm going to show you the file is in the folder. Now I'm going to extract it using this command here. Like this person did a great job. Now it's, <laughs> now it's extracted. We have to copy everything from the user slash lib64 to open resolve lib. So we're going to do it. sudo cp rf slash so user lib 64 star so it's mean like copy everything from there i'm double checking yes that's that's the one and we're going to copy that so it's the destination here slash opt resolve libs and yeah it should be this one so i'm going to double check yeah that's the one so i'm going to do it enter and it's done so we're going to go back to opt resolve bin and I'm going to restart Resolve and see what happened. Ah, so now we have a new one. And this is why I'm trying to show you the process. Because like that, next time you have this type of issue, you're going to be able to debug it yourself. So now we need um, this library. So we're going to do the same, same thing. Zipper search lib gpeg and see what comes out. And this one is a 62 here. So I'm guessing this is this one. So we're going to install it sudo zipper install libjpeg62 and libjpeg62 devel. I just installed all of them like that. 
you know, it's okay. It's just like a 300 kilobyte package is no problem. Now it's installed and we're going to try resolve again. And now we need, oh, the lib pongo come out again. Whoa. -oh. And boom, another one. <laughs> So at this point, you're going to be like, yeah, Max, how do we get out from here? Now there is another command you're going to have to, to go through. And I know it's long, it's tedious, but this one took me a lot, lot of time to actually figure it out. So the command is sudo cp slash lib 64 slash lib glib dash 2. And here you're going to put a star here, really like that, be like a wire. And you're going to copy that again in opt resolve and lib and if my notes are right we should be able to launch DaVinci resolve now here we go so now as you can see the application is going to start two points here when it starts and it happens all the time you're going to have this white screen it's uh, some type of like welcome message and it always bug out on linux and what you need to do is go back on your terminal and press Ctrl C here. It's going to stop. When you launch Resolve again, you wouldn't have any problem because the welcome screen won't be there anymore. But if you launch it in a VM, obviously it's not going to work because I don't have any uh, graphic card installed. Right now, I'm, I'm just like emulating the graphic card. As you can see, the GPU is like whatever it is there. So what you need to do in this type of situation, you're going to start Resolve and it's going to be working out. Make sure you have your AMD driver or your NVIDIA driver well installed or even like Intel to make sure like it's going to go through. If I launch it here, I won't have any issue related to the library. I'm going to have just a crash like that. And it's crashing because I don't have a GPU card. So guys, I hope it helped. Like it took me a lot of time to figure out all of this. I'm going to put all the command below in, in, the, in the description. After that, you have nothing to do. What you might have to do, however, is like when you upgrade your DaVinci Resolve, make sure you go through the whole process again. Because there is a high chance it's not going to work again. So it's one of the downfall of using like OpenSUSE right now, because there is some of the libraries are way too recent. And when DaVinci Resolve checks the link in your like own library, they are just too recent and just create those type of error. So it's, it's one of the issues related to DaVinci Resolve and OpenSUSE. There is not like any type of script like you could have on Arch with uh, AUR. So you have to do it that ma manually. I know like someone uh, good enough in coding is going to maybe look at this video and create like a nice script on the OBS uh, from OpenSUSE. But I, I am not going to do it. So you're just going to have to watch this video again if you if you are lost. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you got any information or any type of entertainment out of this video, I would really appreciate you to put a thumbs up, uh, become a subscriber like that. You won't uh, miss the other update on my uh, Linux adventure here. And uh, if you want to support the channel financially, I would really appreciate it. You can become a member on YouTube or on the Patreon. You have the link uh, below. And yeah, that's all. Thank you again for everything. Thanks for all the members of the Patreon and the YouTube channel. You guys are the best. See you in the next video. And until then, have a great one. Bisous, bisous.